So there are four washing machines in an apartment complex A, B, C and D. On any given day, the probability that these machines break down is as follows. So the probability of machine A breaking down is equal to 0 0.04. The probability of machine B breaking down is equal to 100. The probability of machine C breaking down is 600. And the probability of machine D breaking down is 100. We assume that the functionality of each machine is independent of that of others, and we need to find the probability that on a given day at least one machine will be working. So, uh, first of all, uh, what we need to understand is that because uh, uh, we assume that the functionality of each machine is independent of that of others, that means that if we suppose that event, event A is when machine A is not working. So machine A is not working, isn't working. Event B is when machine B isn't working. Isn't working. And the same for event C and event D. Well, uh, we need to understand that these events are independent, uh, as it's stated in, uh, as it's stated in our problem. Uh, so to solve this problem, we will use the multiplication rule for independent events. Uh, let's write it down: multiplication rule. Multiplication rule for independent events. And basically, this rule states that the probability of event A, event B, event C, and event D happening together is equal to the probability of event A times the probability of event O times the probability of event B times the probability of event C times the probability of event D. D. Uh, well, now uh, in our problem, we need to find the probability uh, that at least one machine will be working. So the probability of at least one machine working. One machine working. We understand that this probability is equal to one minus the probability of none or the probability that none of those machines will work. So the probability of none of them working. Them working. Now to calculate the probability of none of them working, we understand that this is the same as the probability of event A and B and C and D happening all together. So this is that case when machine A doesn't work, machine B doesn't work, machine C doesn't work, and machine D doesn't work. So all these four events are happening together. A and B and C and D happening together. So we know that this is equal to one. Now we will use our multiplication rule for independent events. So it's equal to one minus the probability of event A times the probability of event B times the probability of event C times the probability of event D. And now we just need to do our calculations. So this is equal to 1 minus 0 0.04 times 0 0.01 times 0 0.06 times 0 0.01. And this is equal to 1 minus minus zero point zero 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 so six zeros we need to have here and twenty four two four and this is equal to zero point nine 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 seven six um 
so the probability of at least one machine working is equal to this number which is actually very close to one